So you want to make samples like Frank Dukes, huh? Well, today we're going to get into the Prince VST. Let's do this. Archer here. I'm just going to put a couple keys so you can kind of hear the sounds. And then over here in this plus menu, it gives you a drop down. And this is all your saved favorites. So anytime you get a sound that you like, just go ahead and save it to the favorites by clicking the little heart right there. And then they have pads, brass, plucks, keys, organs, leads, all that kind of good stuff. So once you hit um, your brass section here, you just hit the plus, and it pulls up all the brass section here. And let's say I like this colorful lily here. I can always just go over here and click that heart. And then in the main menu, if you do the drop down, without the brass, then it will pull up which one you like best and just unclick the ones that you don't like and whatnot. Then you have all your plugs here. Let's say I like this sound right here. I can always change the noise down here. So you have quite a bit of of sound designing that you can do on your own. Um, instead of just having the, the stock sound in there, um, they have glide, they have LFO, um, a bunch of different little filters and stuff like that. And then if you, it's joining two sounds together here to make this dimensional lake. So if you don't like this Henny key, you can, ch you can change it. So I personally love this VST. I've been using this for a couple weeks now. Um, it's it's a beast. You can really do a lot of stuff with this. Um, if you're coming from like Omnisphere or other kind of stuff like that, uh, other VSTs, it's a little bit different because of the textures that you get within this VST. You wouldn't get out of say Omnisphere so easily you really have to master Omnisphere to be able to even get close to emulating some of these sounds um, the the Prince VST really piggybacks off of analog equipment which is awesome because I mean if you listen to any new song on the radio there's Producers are still sampling, and they're still sampling stuff from like the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. And back then, they were using analog equipment. And really good producers know that, so that's why we invest in analog equipment. Well, the Prince VST kind of kind of gives you that analog feel through this VST. Um, and I, I own a Moog. I own... Uh, Juno, and it, it, this VST is giving me the same kind of feel, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, I would definitely pick it up. I would recommend it. The great thing about this plugin as well is you get to try it before you buy it through Cradle.com. So this video wasn't intended to go really in depth with the VST itself and the sounds and all that kind of stuff. This is more my input on the VST and um, it will definitely help your production because of the textures that the sounds uh, that the VST gives you. Um, you can get sounds from anywhere 
but the main thing about this VST is the textures it gives you um, by combining two sounds and um, little noises in the background the cracks and the pops and all that kind of stuff to make it sound vintage um, don't kid yourself you're not gonna sound like Frank Dukes just by getting this VST you're gonna have to go more into sound design you're gonna have to you know buy some analog equipment as well you're gonna want to get like an RC20 plug-in that way you can get the muddy vintage feel of your of your um, composition to make it sound like from the 60s or 70s um, so you're gonna want to invest into those things as well and definitely invest into yourself put in your 10,000 hours do the things that you're gonna have to do to get to that level but this VST is definitely gonna head you in that direction so I would I would recommend getting this VST thanks for chilling with me guys I'm out Peace.